know you guys have been here for a few days. How have you, uh, how have you found the experience so far? Uh, it's been great being at Fright Fest. Uh, everyone's been really kind, and the filmmakers are so nice. And uh, it's just really. Last time I was here ten years ago, I made lifelong filmmaker friends, and I just think this film festival is really conducive to generating those friendships and camaraderie. And sorry about the demon is definitely one of the, the happier, more jolly of the horror films. You know, is it an intentional thing? Do you like working in the in the lighter side of horror? Yeah, I think um, one thing I like about horror comedy is the ability to kind of like infuse these really light-hearted characters in a, in a darker surrounding. And uh, I think that I think my sensibility is just kind of I love horror, but I love leaning a little bit into kind of a, something that's also going to make you smile. I think that follows through, like in the film, you know, you've got your main character who. You know, by night he's he's fending off a demon, but by day he loves nothing better than to sit and decorate a cake. Yes. <laughs> uh, I was watching a lot of uh, baking shows when I wrote the script, and uh, a little embarrassed to say that, but I guess it's just made its way into the work, yeah. I, I definitely think it works. It's, it's this great story. It's almost like a coming-of-age story within, you know, this wackiness that's happening. I think... What do you think it is about horror that lends itself so well to being tell, able to tell all these different types of stories? I think that there's a real opportunity to have, um, to use the horror elements symbolically for what's going on in the lives of these characters. And so that was a really big uh, aspect of taking this story and the genre elements and fusing them together uh, to try to support what's going on in this character's journey with these ghosts and like literal inner demons that are haunting him, but in a very comedic, lighthearted, personal way. I mean, a lot of it's, you know, from my own experiences and, and uh, I think that, um, I don't remember the question <laughs> from there. And what do you, what do you hope that the, the Fright Fest audience get from the film? What do you hope that they, uh, they learn and experience? Okay, my, I was thinking about this this morning. I'm like, what is the one thing I want people to take away? And I would just love it if people just had a little bit of a smile or a little bit of a laugh and they feel a little bit lighter with the rest, in the rest of their day. That's, that's the one thing I hope uh, people take away is just feeling like they have a good day after this. And maybe a potential new use for toothpaste. Oh, wait, sorry? Maybe a potential new use for toothpaste. Yeah. <laughs> the toothpaste um, is uh, another weird thing. I, um, I, my parents never made me go to the dentist growing up because they said, as long as you take really good care of your teeth, we won't make you go. So I was a very like hygienic kid. I loved to floss. I really brushed my teeth really well. And I think that just eventually made its way into my <laughs> screenwriting. Um, I have been to the dentist. You know, I hope people aren't looking at my teeth now, but uh, I have since been to the dentist, but it was definitely a formative part of my childhood. It was like, you got to take good care of those teeth. And it really kind of matched the, you know, the sugar and the cake. They're just a part of everything. So, uh, yeah, maybe try out what your toothpaste can do, I guess. <laughs> and finally, what's, what's next? Have you got any projects lined up? Uh, yeah, my next project is uh, hopefully a, a, it's a more of a Christmas horror movie. It's a little bit more horror um, than this one, but uh, I think there will always be some lighthearted elements and comedic elements in my in my movies. Um, yeah, I wish you best of luck with the screening. Thanks so much.